Hey guys, my name's Griffo, this is GriffoMedia.com and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now I know what you're thinking, where have you been? Why haven't you done a video in ages? It's been a very, very busy 12 months with voiceovers and radio shows. House move, not quite there yet with that one, but more details on that to follow. And my baby boy's keeping me busy as well. Uh, but I'm back with a racing video and there's a good reason for this. Something new has landed. Can you see? Uh, you know, I'm really into arcade racing games, bit of sim racing. I've not done a racing review on this channel probably for the best part of six months, but I've been inspired this week because I've got a new product through from Amazon and the guys at PXN. Thank you guys for sending me the wheel to review. Always like to do that. If you've got some products as well that you'd like me to check out, don't forget to drop me a line via griffomedia.com. The V900 is probably, in my opinion, after just giving this the once over, probably the most premium feel to a wheel at its price point. And it does have quite a budget price point. Check out the link below and you will see how much this wheel is going to cost you. And it's just sat there. I've got the box here, which came through the post. It's a big box as well. And when I unbox this, uh, those guys who follow my channel and subscribe, you'll know that I'm a Fanatec user. Uh, I've been a Thrustmaster user down the years. I've been a Logitech G29 user. I did a lot of my videos on the G29. When I opened this, when I got this through the post from the guys at PXN, the <laughs> it felt like I was unboxing the Logitech G29. That's what it felt like. Um, and the wheel does feel like really premium quality for the price. I'm staggered actually at the amount this wheel does for that price point. Because you know on this channel with the crosshair converter, I'm keen on video games, racing ones in particular, that you can use one peripheral, with it being the driving wheel, on one console, then use the same wheel on the next console. Most people have more than a PlayStation nowadays. They're more than the Nintendo Switch. They have more than an Xbox. They have, you know, and this wheel almost covers them all off. It's going to cover you on the PC, the PS3, the PS4, the Xbox One, and the Switch. It's got dual core two modes for X input and D input as well on PC, so you can cover off all those titles you see on my channel. You can also pre-customize your buttons. You know, the layout of buttons and what those buttons do, you can do that. The wheel is completely pre-programmable. Is there anything they've left off? Uh, you can switch the rotation as well, uh, all the way from 270 degrees. And those of you who subscribe and watch me do the arcade racing games will know most are at 270. Perfect for that. And it leaps all the way up to those Euro truck simulators. And, you know, everybody's playing tractor simulators, 900 wheel degree rotation. You've got it boxed off with this as well because it does that as well. Uh, there's support for audio communication function between the PS4 and the Xbox One. There is a slot to the rear of the wheel for that, which I'll show you. Uh, there's the vibration motors, a dual double vibration motor that's going to give you that force feedback that everybody craves whilst playing those racing titles. And the ergonomic design is just, it's just fantastic. Now, you've seen the box. It's the V900, it's the PXN. Check out the link below if you are looking for something that ain't going to break the bank, but it's going to give you full racing compatibility across consoles. This, this wheel, honestly, is the best I've come across for that. So I'm going to start off with the most important bit, which is the wheel, and there's a right weight to it. Like, I'm a strong guy. <laughs> Check out my guns. But I am a strong guy, and this wheel has got some weight to it. Now, when you buy a wheel at its price point, you're expecting, I don't know, something light, something flimsy. But this, honestly, the build quality is absolutely stunning. And have a look at the wheel. You'll see exactly what I mean there. Hopefully, uh, the camera is doing it justice. Um, like I say, it's got the very much the Logitech G29s about it for me. Um, and it very much feels like that. The, the size of the wheels are probably identical. Uh, good thing about the button, because it cross formats the Xbox, Microsoft, and also the Sony PS consoles, is that you do get, you can see there, you do get the, the, the triangle and the square and the circle, and then you also get the X and the Y and stuff. So I think that's a really good feature, because with most other wheels, you have to pull the buttons out, and it's a bit, it's a bit faffy, to be fair. You get a programmable button, so you can kind of remap all of this. You get a mode button, 
Uh, you get all the buttons you're going to get on any of your console sticks. You've got a share button, which is great for social media. Your options button, which is vital. You've got your D-pad to flick through your menus. And all these pre-compatible buttons as well, which are your triggers behind most of your controllers. The RB1s and all of that. Behind, we've got a USB port. See that? Got fans, of course. You're going to need those if you're on this for hours, like with all wheels. It's a headphone adapter as well, like we're talking with the audio sharing before. Uh, there's also the hardwired USB port, uh, which is going to go straight to your console. And then you've got, obviously, the plug there where your pedals are going to go, which I'm going to show you in a second. Underneath the wheel... You've got suction mounts. Now... I don't know. For me, I would never play this wheel with the suction mounts, but I know there's people that don't have driving setups and rigs, and they're going to use a desk like I've got here. It's just going to lock in place. Uh, but the good thing that comes in the box, forget all about that, you're going to get two of these. Fantastic. Really heavy GT wheel clamps, which attach to the wheel. So there's one that's pre-packaged. I took one out of the bag before. There you go. And you can see the build quality of that really thick, solid plastic. And that is just going to lock into there. And then you can just clamp your wheel uh, to your desk and get it fixed firmly in place. And that's going to work for you, isn't it? You've got your instructions. You've got your user manual. That's in various languages, English, Chinese, the lot really. USB cable, which you're going to need. Uh, you've also got some additional sucky mounty paddies. You're going to need those if you're hammering on this wheel for hours on end. So let's put the wheel to one side for just a second. Going to put that there on the desk. Will it come off now? <laughs> uh, the pedals are next. These are made of plastic. So you've obviously got your accelerator and you've got your brake. You've got your connection, which is going to lead to your main wheel. And I would say maybe... I'm going to guess about two metres worth of cable there, maybe less, but still enough for what you need because you're not really going to be racking this on a, a driving mount, I wouldn't think. And you've got some nice little carpet grips on there as well, and you can put your heels kind of on there, and they're all obviously going to grip to it. And you've got nice... You can hear that, can't you? Got some nice feeling pedals there that are, that are going to build, be built to last. So there you go. There's your pedals. There's your wheel. So there's only one thing to do now, really, isn't it, guys? I've kind of sung its praises in terms of first impressions. The build quality is fantastic. You've got the complete, of course, 900 wheel rotation all the way from 270. It feels like a really good wheel. But let's find out more. Shall we play? I think we shall. Let's head to the rig. Okay, so here it is, my makeshift cockpit for the purposes of this review. You can see there on my wooden table, I've got the PXN all locked into place uh, with, of course, the pedals just down below. They're attached. Here's the wheel all locked into place. Looking rather nice as well, don't you think? And these, of course, doing a, a really good job in bolting it hard onto the table. Um, just a couple of things we didn't point out when we unboxed it. You do have to plug in your controller, that being, of course, an Xbox One controller. That fits into the USB port just at the rear here. And obviously, this then just acts as a controller. And also, the little switch as well to change your wheel rotation is just under the wheel here. So as you can see, you can go from 900 just by sliding it all the way across all the way to your 270, which most arcade games are going to have. And I've locked it into position. And as you can see there, the screen is lit and the D-pad is absolutely doing the trick. Uh, we're going to hop into some games now and see how this fares under the Griffo test, the PXN V900 at griffomedia.com. Okay, first play then, we're going to go for Crazy Taxi on the Xbox One. Uh, this was downloaded, of course. Um, I think you can still actually get this game, but that's not the main point of this. Uh, the point is, of course, getting into this game and playing it. Of course, it's been a while since I've done the whole crazy taxi thing. I do enjoy playing this game. I think it's really good. So uh, you can hear the uh, the sound. I've turned it down a little bit because that's probably going to... The music's going to drown out what I'm saying. Uh, so, yeah, obviously you can do the whole cloud thing. That's all in the options. You can do the whole saving thing if you wish. 
and do all the Xbox stuff. Uh, so you've got the D-pad that works flawlessly and you can go into the options. I'm just gonna play snapshots of a few games. It's just gonna go from one to the other, but Crazy Taxi is always a good place to start. I've got the pedals, of course, just down here. Just gonna get them into position. Uh, the wheel, like I say, feels very solid indeed. Uh, so let's have a go at this. We'll just play a bit of the arcade. Uh, we'll work for three minutes. Probably won't be that long on this video. Um, and then we might move on to something a bit more detailed, like a Forza. Um, we'll do Xbox One first and then we'll switch across consoles, maybe do some PS4 stuff as well. Uh, but you can see here, so I've got the accelerator going there and then I brake, uh, pick up my customer and then the accelerator is going down again and I've got complete 270 degrees. Uh, that's the arcade stuff, I'm useless at this game. And I'm feeling also force feedback on this as well. You get the, uh, the rumbles and so I'm going to drop off if you don't know the rules of Crazy Taxi. Uh, I'm going to drop this customer off as fast as possible. Uh, the red mark above me meant I'm not doing so well for time. Um, and the aim of the game is to, <laughs> to pick up as many customers as possible. But obviously this, this wheel is working flawlessly with this game. It was a definite plug and play. Uh, so how it worked was, um, and this is really good as well, um, the actual wheel is taking power from the console. Um, so it's only 5 volts. So basically, uh, there's no power adapter that comes in the box. Um, so it takes the console juice, which is good. So there's no looking for an additional plug. Here you go. Let's get in there, lock it in. That was a bit faster, it's speedy. Um, and then, so what happens is that plugs into the console. So that gets the power from the Xbox One in this case. Should have picked them up actually. Let me get the force feedback here. And then what happens then is that you plug in the Xbox One controller, because I'm playing an Xbox One game and that tells this wheel the Xbox One controller kind of macros and it's just basically copying it. It's like a copycat system, uh, which you know works well at this price point. That's what you're gonna get. And um, if it works on the game, as you can see, um, there's a crash into the trees. I think we'll, uh, we'll halt there, won't we? Should we do another game? So a bit of arcade action for starters on the Xbox One. That was of course Crazy Taxi. Next it's Forza 6. You can see, dead easy to jump through the menu options with the little gear shifters here. Uh, we're just going to jump into a free play game actually. Um, where should we race? We'll select a track, we'll go for Rio, which is my favourite on this game. Effortless, going through the menus with the D-pad. I do like Prague as well on this game. We'll select that track. Uh, we'll race with the 4GT car. And you can see just rent a car because I don't own that on this game. We just go across to F for Ford. Nice and easy. Tempted to do a Ferrari. Let's go for the Ford GT. That was kind of synonymous with this game, wasn't it? And uh, as you can see, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. First play with it, of course, on Crazy Taxi. Felt the rumble with the force feedback with the motors in there. Uh, the cool thing is, is that it doesn't require its own power supply. Just getting a V5 straight off the Xbox. You plug the Xbox One controller in. And the rest, of course, is just kind of copied and manipulated from the controller. A good start off wheel, great price point, good pedals, good build quality. Um, kudos to the guys at PXM. We'll do another two or three games and we'll wrap up this and uh, give it our final thoughts. But let's do a bit of Forza 6. We'll just kind of start off and just see how this race is off here. Um, we can obviously flick through the views as well once we get into the race. What a gorgeous car that is. One of my ambitions, guys. If you guys at PXN are watching, if you ever get a hold of one of them and you want me to test it and review it for the channel, more than willing. So, yeah, straight off, you can feel the rumble, the force feedback in there as well. It's not incredibly strong. I didn't expect it to be, uh, but it just kind of does its, does its job, really. You feel it and you know it's there and um, it feels really good. Once we get kind of around these first initial bends, um, I'm going to uh, flick through some of the car views just to show you how accessible it is just to do that. Um, but it's everything you'd expect from a racing wheel and more because of course you can, um, you can <laughs> everybody crashing, uh, you can of course use it, um, there you go, go through the, the, the view modes there, that's actually taking the share button into consideration there, we jump into the car. So there we go, it works nice, Forza 6, what should we play next? I wonder, I wonder. Well, we've got the Xbox One fired up. I thought we'd try this, the remastered version 
of Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, which I've loved over the last 12 months. I make no secret of that on the channel. Uh, this wheel should work lovely with this game, actually. Uh, I think we're going to flick through the views uh, with our little gear shifter here, as you can see. Getting a nice little bit of force feedback. I'm feeling the whole rumble off the terrain there. Uh, we've got the 270 degrees uh, rotation in this game. So we can use the D-pad of course here. I've got a roadblock which I've just deployed by using the right on the, uh, the D-pad there. I tell you what, I'm not used to sitting this far away from my screen. <laughs> But kudos to the guys at PXN, they've definitely made a wheel here that is, you know, they're not lying about it. It's an entry level wheel, but really good build quality. You can play every game you want to, um, and it just works really well. Shoot some of our booster now, eh? Because my table rocks. <laughs> Here we go. Lay another roadblock there, deploying it with the D-pad button. We've got him, got him locked in now. So there we go. Just thought we'd see how well it works. Need for speed, hot pursuits. Works really well with this wheel. Shall we fire up the PS4? Let's go for it. Okay, the PS4 is now connected. The controller goes into the back of the wheel gets the power from there because I'm not sure the controller actually had any battery power. And then this, of course, is the main lead hardwired into the unit that goes straight into the PS4. And we have connection. That's so easy, isn't it? No power from any other source other than the console. Um, got to play Gran Turismo, right? Uh, we'll update later, I think, because it usually takes an absolute age. Um, but so far so good, obviously we've done the Xbox, did a few games on that, all the games work totally fine. Uh, PS4 for me, I'll just try a couple out here, uh, maybe Gran Turismo and something else before uh, we wrap up the video. Um, I would like to, to put this through its paces maybe on some other consoles, uh, but for the purposes of this first video, uh, we're just really going to knock through a few games and just give you the generalised feel of build quality, summarise how well it was in terms of user friendliness uh, because of course if you're coming into the the entry level wheel kind of thing then you want something that's easy to set up and uh, probably not like uh, the stuff that I've got over there in the corner um, that's kind of more advanced features and, and more of an advanced setup but I mean absolutely enjoying using this um, so let's skip through here and see where we lead to and uh Hopefully we can jump into a quick race. That intro sequence is always nice to view, but after you've seen it for the first two or three times, uh, yeah, just a bit annoying. So single race, can't wait for the new Gran Turismo actually. Uh, this video will be based on the Tokyo Expressway. Let's do that. Always a good course to do. Uh, I do have quite a few nice cars in my collection and I'll choose one maybe. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. See what I've got in my garage. I've got, I've got some nice cars in my garage there, actually. Um, are we driven a Porsche yet today? I think we'll do a 911 for this race. Uh, I say do it for this race. We'll just race a, a few little uh, lap on this and see where it leads to and see what the force feedback's like and see uh, what the wheel rotation's like. Uh, I can't do 900 degrees games on this at the minute because I'm not really into the kind of truck simulators and the um, the tractor simulators is not really my thing. Uh, but maybe on a future video, if the PXN guys want me to do a secondary video, I can try it. I think this would work on the Xbox 360. I think it would. Again, we'll try that in a future video. I also think it'll work with Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, obviously, I did the video, check out my previous videos with the Crosshair Converter. I think out of the box this would do the trick because it's basically mirroring your controller. Um, everything your controller does, uh, the wheel can do with the, with the aid of the buttons and stuff. So it's something I'd like to, to do in future videos, but in terms of time and stuff, um, this is kind of, kind of where we're up to. We'll do this in one more game and then we'll summarise and wrap it up. But 
I'm impressed with what I see. Thank you again to the guys for sending me the wheel. If you've got some stuff you want to review on the channel in depth, uh, just hit me up, griffomedia.com. Send me an email like those guys did at PXN and we'll get the, uh, the product sorted on the channel. And uh, we'll see we'll see what your products are like. Always uh, nice to try new stuff out. Impartially, of course. Some nice force feedback. Got to wrap this video up with something amazing. That amazing being Drive Club. Can't fire up the PS4 and not have a game on this with a new PXN wheel, the V900. It's just, anybody who's followed this channel will know how much love I give this game, uh, particularly the VR version actually, because once you're in the VR mode, it's just phenomenal. Uh, but anyway, this game for me, it was just an absolute crime the way they broke up the production company that made this, the gaming house. Um, I know it started off a bit slow, then they of course updated the game with weather effects and patches, uh, but I'm a huge fan of Drive Club. This game is working really nice on the V900 from PXN. So there we go. Thanks to the guys at PXN for sending the V900. I've had fun reviewing it. Hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Don't forget, you can win this by subscribing to Griffo Media here on YouTube. Just hit the subscribe button. The end of October, this wheel that I reviewed today could be yours. Pedals, box, all of it. The gubbins. Thanks for watching. Cross compatibility, you can play that on your PlayStation, your PC, your Xbox, your Nintendo Switch. It covers all bases, it really does. You can also buy it at a really affordable price. And don't forget that wheel rotation as well. 270, arcade, boxed off, racing games, brilliant. And you can also take it up to 900 wheel rotation if you're into your truck racing and your tractor racing. It's a great wheel. You can win it, that one that we reviewed. Just subscribe. Thanks to PXN again for sponsoring the video. Guys, thanks for watching GriffoMedia.com. Back soon with more content. See ya. GriffoMedia.com